Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, what is on my spirit right now to do a lesson on is um, the topic of prophecy. Uh, I, I, I think I've covered um, a few lessons on prophecy, but um, I got a few minutes left on my lunch break, so this, this ain't going to be too long. But um, spirit is on me to go into prophecy right now because that's what's really happening, man. And I saw, I was watching a, a video from Elder Apostle Tahar earlier um, while I was working. You know, the video he was showing um, what's going on over there in Ukraine. It says, uh, it's ease trouble. Um, um, if I, if I, I can't, if I could remember the... Um, so lucky I don't remember the uh, um, uh, the title of that lesson. I think it's I believe it's Esau's trouble. Okay, Esau's trouble. So the things that they're going, what's happening in Ukraine right now? That's Edomite on Edomite, man. Okay. All right. So at the end of the day, it's all prophecy, man. All right, it's all prophecy. So that's what's happening, man. Wars and rumors of wars. All of these things is is part of prophecy, man. Okay, Matthew, the 24th chapter, tells you about that. Wars and rumors of wars. We see in these things, earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, uproars of the people. We've been seeing all these things. All of these things are prophecies, man. They're prophecies. That's why the Spirit is on me to go into prophecy. So this lesson is organic. All to the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Let's get some scriptures, man. Uh, first scripture that comes to mind real quick is being in the mindset of our Lord. And we know that our Lord, you know, his testimony was the spirit of prophecy. So let's get that. Revolution, uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter and the 10th verse. And this is the angel speaking to John the Revelator. All right, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, okay, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. So the spirit of our Lord, all right, so like the testimony of our Lord is the, is the, is the, um, the spirit of prophecy, man. Okay? The testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is the spirit of prophecy. So we're supposed to be like-minded as, as our Lord, right? So we're supposed to be into that. That prophesying spirit, that's what we do. We go down to the highways and the byways and the chief concourse, uh, the chief place of concourse, and, and, and show our people uh, their transgressions, okay, by, by ministering unto them and prophesying, okay, and unto the nations, okay? And we see seeing these things happening, man. we see seeing these things happening. Because why? It's the, it is the Lord's will, all right? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, we're going to go to Isaiah, let's get um, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 42, let's get 42, and I'm um, jumping here at verse where, 8, this is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 8, it says, I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Verse 9, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, all right? Meaning things that were prophesied in ancient times. A lot of them already came to pass, like World War I, World War II, okay? Us going into slavery, those things been prophesied and those things happen, okay? It says, New things do I declare, right? Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, right? The Lord said, Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how do we tell you of them? Through the prophets, man. 
through the man of the Lord, the man that is out, out on the highway, and the Bible is prophesying and telling you of these things that to come, the, the destruction and all these things. All right, from there we're going to go to Isaiah 46. We're going to read um, Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord is saying his counsel shall stand. He shall do all his pleasure. All right, and we know that the word of the Lord doesn't turn back to him void. Let's get it. This is Isaiah chapter 55. I'll start at verse 10. The point is verse 11. It says, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, meaning there, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. This is the point. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, meaning empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So the Lord's will is going to be done. Prophecies are going to go forth. Okay? And that's what's going to happen, man. Okay? That's what's going to happen, man. The destruction is going to come. That's the only way we're going to get the kingdom of heaven. Let's go to, uh, what's that? Ecclesiasticus? No, Salakia. Salakia. Second Esses, the fourth chapter. And um, I started the 28th verse because what's happening in the world right now is a lot of evil, man. Okay, the scripture tell you of Job chapter 9 and verse 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right? That's what it is, man. Our Lord, Yahweh shall I testify also. Okay, St. John, the seventh chapter and the seventh verse, he said, um, the world cannot hate you, but me it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. All right, so we know this place is polluted, man. All right, we know that for a fact. Micah 2 and 10 tell us, say, arise ye therefore and depart, for this is not your rest. It is polluted and it will destroy you even with a sore destruction. So we know this ain't our rest. Our rest is going to be in the kingdom. Okay, but we know that the evil is sown here. And that's why you see even wars and all of these things was going to come on the earth. These things need be because without them, we cannot get the kingdom of heaven. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28. It says, but as concerning the things whereof thou, hast, thou ask it, askest me, I will tell thee for the evil is sown, right? All over the world. But the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, so the place have to pass away. Then cannot, then cannot it come that is sown with good. There you go, the kingdom of heaven. So certain things needs be. All right? That's what it is. That These things are prophesied. All right? These things are prophesied, man. Esau is the end of the world. Okay? One rulership. Jacob is the beginning of it, of it that follow it. All right? So... The scripture tells you that the earth abided forever. So, right? So, it's not going it's, 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 it's the end of a certain set of people rulership. It's not, a, it's not an end of, of, of the, the earth. The earth abided forever. It's just, you have different worlds. You know? You have, you have Eon in the world. You have Ike, Oikomoni. You have Cosmos. These different worlds. You know, you have the world of music. The world of sports. The world of Israel. Okay? Like how these people love to go to John 3 and 16 thinking it's meaning the whole world. That's talking about an orderly arrangement. It's talking about the world of Israel, man. Okay, you got to understand words in the Greek and in the Hebrew. Okay? So that's just what it is, man. Um, I was going to get... Um, I had a scripture in mind, but kind of elude me because I, 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 I keep um, speaking. But... um. Like we say, my Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it, which follow it. So at the end of the day, we know that we got next, but it's all about prophecies, man. It's all about, it's all about the prophecies. That's what it's all about. Okay, let's get some scriptures on that because we know the Lord said none, shall, none of his prophecies are going to fail, man. Let's go back to the book of um, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah the 34th chapter, and let's grab um, the 16th verse. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Okay, meaning the prophecies, no one of them are going to fail. None. Okay, none shall want her mate. 
It's talking about the Bible, the Holy Scripture. No other book could be compared to her because it's the only book that's the living power, the living book. Okay, it's only this is the only book was that's alive, man. Because why? It contains prophecies. No other book of prophecies. The Holy Bible is the only book that have prophecies. It says none shall want her mate. Meaning no other book could be compared to her. Okay, to the to the, to the scriptures. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. Okay, so that's it, man. <laughs> it's no going around it, man. All right, it's all about prophecy, man. And that's the spirit that we're in right now, and we're being comforted, and, and, and our, fa our faith is being strengthened because we're seeing the prophecies going forward. We're seeing it, man. Okay, this is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Okay, the time is at hand, man. Okay, it's all about the prophecies, and we're in that time. All right? We in that time, man. All right? It's no going around it. Um, this is the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 10. It says, And he said unto me, Seeing that the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Okay, so seal. Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. Okay, we can't say it, you can't say it enough. The time is at hand. <laughs> seal not the sayings of this book, man. It's like you seal not the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand, man. Hey, it's all about prophecy, man. Okay? It's no way to get around it. The Lord's will is gonna be done. Alright? And that's it. So hey, so with that, um, hopefully you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.